Welcome to the show that will keep you from falling behind during the week. The Friday Catch-Up with the hostess with no ghost is Belinda. The Friday Catch-Up is brought to you by the ParaQuest Radio Network. Hello everybody, welcome to another week of Friday Catch-Up. I'd like to introduce again for the 27th show, my most fabulous co-hostess with the most is Jackie. Yay! Hello! I feel like I'm in a police state because there's sirens going on behind me and I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, get in the well, get in the well! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just sitting here and, you know, dancing around to the theme and all of a sudden, wee 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 what the? What have you been doing? Nothing! I didn't do I think they're headed down the interstate, actually, so I really don't know. It sounds like a fire truck and a police car. That's an odd mix. Usually you get one with an ambulance, not one with the other. Who knows? It could, very well could have been an ambulance, too. Oh, well, they're too far now. I didn't know if you could hear it or not. I was like, oh, that's going to be good. We're going to start the show, and there's going to be sirens in the background. Yippee! <laughs> we'll have to listen for the playback and see if they turned up there. I don't think they did. It should be okay. Yeah, it'll be... <laughs> reporting to you live from Jackie being arrested. <laughs> Yeah, they're having way too much fun. It should be well, illegal. Yeah. <laughs> what we do should be illegal. You know, have you ever sat back and realized that we we really do have way too much fun? Oh wait, hang on. Hi, they're coming again. <laughs> you hear them? <laughs> I did that time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I want to get my rant in there real quick before we start with the show. Because I know okay. your rant's going to take a little while. Okay. As it usually does. Right. So you know how my taste in music is kind of, yeah, um, the way it is. <coughs> yeah. <Sorry. laughs> little what? questionable, maybe. <laughs> okay. So uh, I think it's Rolling Stone has come out with their 10 worst songs of 1990s. Or, the you know, the decade of the 90s. Yeah. Okay. Here's the top ten from number ten. Okay, Baha Men, Who Let the Dogs Out? You know, yeah, we all know that one. Okay, Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On. Hanson, Mbop. Chubbawamba, Tub Thumping. Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. Billy Ray Cyrus, Achy Breaky Heart. Los Del Rio, Macarena. And do you know what the number one worst song of the 90s is officially according to Rolling Stone? Well, considering most of those on that list, I would put as number one. I'm I'm very interested. What? Well, since we played it the other week, I actually can't play it this week. So everybody's going, ah. But it's Aqua's Barbie Girl. Yes. I mean, ah. Ah. See, everyone went ah. But you know what? I reckon that they missed a few. I think they got the numbering wrong. Like for me, in my opinion. The uh, Mbop would have been number one. <laughs> mm, I don't know. See, I'll, I'll play tiny, tiny snippets of the songs that I think should have been in that top ten. Okay, you should know it just from like the first few seconds. So I'll only play a few seconds of each. You ready? Okay, this run, one. Run, 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 everyone, run. I mean, go ahead, Belinda. <laughs> this one should have been somewhere in the top three. Yo, see what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want. What do you reckon? That one should have been in there? And this one? Yeah, yeah. You should know, you should know better. See? They missed that one. Yeah. And the one that I sang constantly from the moment it came out. And we should know this one just from the first few bars. So you ready for... The the song that I think should have been in there and was not in there. Brace yourselves. Okay, go. Let's go, girls. Ah! <laughs> see, they missed a whole heap. I'd like to see what's in the top twenty. Because <laughs> those oh, oh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so they missed a ton of songs. 
And considering what the 90s were like for music, I mean, geez, they could have picked maybe one song off every album that came out in the 90s because there were that many earworms and revolting things that we'd all like to forget. But we all own the CDs. So... <laughs> well- not only that, I think why most of them got to that list was not because of how bad they are. Because they were bad. And we all admit that. Mm-hmm. Even the ones that we sing to were bad. Yeah. The problem is they were bad because they were so catchy. Yes. Because the little thing get in your head and earworm. Although Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On, I think that one was just because it got so much airplay that we were all like... I've had enough. Okay, the torture. No more, no more, please, no more. I'll tell you whatever you want to hear. Exactly. So it comes down to maybe Celine Dion should have gone off that list and maybe one of the three that I played should have been put in there. <laughs> At least. Yeah. I don't know. I like, I, I'm very sad to admit, but I actually like some of the songs that you mentioned. And I actually, um... I agree with most of them. I just think they got the numbering wrong. Yeah. I mean, we all love to get up to the Macarena at a good party. And it isn't a good party without the Macarena. So how can it be on the worst With a few drinks. Huh? With a few drinks. Well, I don't drink, but I still get up and dance. (laughs) Oh, it can be terrible. Okay. I can imagine. No, I see. I I'm remembering the story you told me a long time ago about when you were like early, early pregnant, and everyone thought you'd had way too much to drink. Mm-hmm. Yes, the last time I went into a club was a little over ten years ago now, almost. You know, yeah. And it was the smoke and the atmosphere and the heat and everything because it was like December, which is middle of summer for Australia, so it was stinking freaking hot. And I went into this club, I'd been in there three seconds, and suddenly I was overcome with extreme nausea. Little did I know, I was like, you know, three or four weeks pregnant at the time. And it was actually the beginning of sickness from that. But yes, I was running out of the club, and everyone's going, oh, she's had too much to drink. And you know what I'd been drinking all night? Lemonade. (laughs) Like, yeah. Ew. Although, considering what I'm like on, like, you know, Snickers, maybe. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay, your turn. All right. Well, first of all, I just have to make mention that I am watching the most interesting conversation happening before my eyes. You are? Yes. I decided to put Janie and Robin in a room together. Well, not a room, but, well, a virtual room, I guess. And they're talking about Doctor Who and all this stuff, and they're talking, like, we're coming up with ideas for things, and right now there's um, the idea of students being eaten and experimented on and DNA to create super creatures. It's actually really interesting. Speaking of Doctor Who, it's Doctor Who weekend again! Yay! Episode two for me. Yes. Time to go back in the past for me and into the future for you. So... You have finally seen Let's Kill Hitler. What do you think? Um, uh, I'm sort of hoping the chick that played um, a, a younger or the the pre-generation uh, River. Sorry if we're spoiling anything, people. Oh, well, you'll live. Oh, yeah. Spoilers. Um, Everyone, spoilers. Yeah. yeah, I'm hoping okay. that chick comes back as another character because I reckon she was pretty good and I really missed when she regenerated and sort of disappeared into the ether. So. Yeah, I, I kind of liked her too. I just, I don't think she would be a very good full-time thing. Well, I don't know. I mean, she's she still kept the essence of River as River. You know, the kick-ass, you know, do what I damn well please River. Well, and see, what's funny is um, Janie and I were both watching it at the same time and texting each other through the episode. And um, she, or I said something, I said, that's River. And she's like, what? How do you know? I said, look at the mannerisms. That girl nailed. If you watch Alex Kingston 
and this girl, I don't know her name, unfortunately. She's really good. But if you watch her, she has nailed River's mannerisms down to a T. Ah, yeah, she did She did really well. And I hope she goes on to do a whole bunch of other stuff because she got it. Mm-hmm. 